Multicast DNS or MDNS is a protocol that Apple's Bonjour and Google Chromecast use for discovery. It's used for wireless clients to access printers and other services. Multicast DNS service uses the DNS protocol semantics and multicast over well-known multicast addresses to achieve what we call zero configuration service discovery. The Bonjour protocol uses MDNS and operates on a service announcements method and service queries, which allows devices to ask and advertise specific application services, such as printers, file sharing, and even Apple TV. Each query or advertising is sent to the Bonjour multicast address for delivery to all clients on the subnet. The addresses used by Bonjour Protocol are linked local multicast addresses and thus are only forwarded on the local layer 2 domain. Routers cannot use multicast routing to redirect the traffic because the time to live is set to 1 and link local multicast is designed to stay local by design. Since Apple's Bonjour was originally designed for in-home use, it really was not meant for the enterprise. As I said, Bonjour is linked local protocol, which does not cross layer three boundaries. With wireless controllers acting as a Bonjour gateway, Apple devices can now discover Bonjour services across a layer three boundary or different VLANs without any additional configuration on the end user devices. The controller uh, listens for Bonjour services and by caching those advertisements from the source and responding back to Bonjour clients when they request a service. A multicast CapWAC tunnel is a special CapWAC tunnel used for reducing the number of copies of the multicast packets that are required to be generated for each AP CapWAP tunnel. Sending packets on the multicast CAP web tunnel requires the outer IP header to be destined to the multicast CAP web tunnel's addresses, which all APs are subscribed to. As Bonjour enhancements added on the wireless controller for processing of MDNS service advertisements is support for location services or LSS. Basically, all valid multicast DNS server advertisements received at the wireless controller are tagged with the MAC address of the AP associated with the service advertisements from the service provider device. So in essence, only clients connected to the same AP will have access to that service. The multicast DNS AP feature allows the wireless LAN controller to have visibility of the wired service providers that are on the VLAN. You must configure VLANs on all access points. VLAN visibility on the controller is achieved by the APs that forward the multicast DNS advertisements to the controller. There is actually a configurable knob that is provided on the controller to start or stop multicast DNS packet forwarding through the internal AP. Now Bonjour uh, services discovery and advertisements can scale to large networks. Cisco DNA service for Bonjour is used to build isolated flood boundaries, policy enforcement points, and services management. The Easy to use interface is used for centralized access control and monitoring and provides end-to-end -end solution for Bonjour. The Bonjour policies give you the ability to apply granular access policies per unique service instant. For, for example, you could apply granular access policies based on user groups. So as you can see in a classroom and environment example, you could control access based on teacher or student access. Basically, you can use the Cisco wireless controller to create service groups to control users, devices, and services.